could we upload your mind? And more importantly, would that uploaded mind still be you? It's a staple of science fiction, and there's no obvious law of physics saying it's impossible. In theory, if we could map every neuron and synapse in your brain, every flicker of activity and tiny chemical gradient, and recreate it in a computer, you'd wake up in a digital world thinking it was still you. You got about 100 billion neurons in your head, each made of trillions of atoms. But you probably don't need each neuron, let alone each atom, copied perfectly or in exactly the same place. Your brain is constantly changing anyway, with neurons dying off and new ones growing, since we used to think adults couldn't do it all. Still, achieving a perfect instant snapshot is wildly unlikely. External scanners or swarms of nanobots might try to map every neuron, but the sheer energy needed for that kind of resolution, especially at short wavelengths like visible light or ultraviolet, would likely cook your head. Any attempt at a flash scan would just vaporize layers of brain, blocking views of what's beneath. So a flawless copy is not in the cards. That said, you're not exactly the same person you were yesterday either, especially when blasting your neurons with scanners. More realistically, we might scan you slowly and non-destructively over days, then rescan and merge snapshots to build a decent backup, if we can even simulate a person that way. It wouldn't be you, exactly, but probably about as close as a version of you with a few days amnesia or from a recently branched timeline. Now, when that copy you wakes up in a computer or android body and sees you still sitting in the scanner chair, flipping through a magazine, it's unlikely either of you will feel like you transferred. More likely, people would use uploads as backups, scanned at intervals, ready to finish your obligations if needed. For most work or historical records, you wouldn't even need a full personality copy. True mind uploads might mostly be reserved for colonizing distant planets, and as for immortality, if you can build nanobots smart enough to map your brain, you could probably repair it too, keeping your neurons healthy indefinitely along with the rest of your body. Check out our episode Mind Uploading if you'd like to explore the tech, ethics, and paradoxes of living forever as data.